Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Anne's Happy Stampers .uk, and I'm back again with another Sam Simple Sunday and today we're going to make this which is called a double pleated fold card and I think it's quite unusual, a bit different to the normal um, cards that you see with these pleated folds so I'm going to show you how to make it so you don't need a lot of um, supplies which is hence why it's called simple Sundays so what I'm using um, or what you're going to need rather is some bits of card and DSP so um, I have a card base which is Wisp White and it measures 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and a half inches and it's scored at 5 and 7 eighths. Okay, so that will be our card base. I then have a basic black piece of card which is going to go as a little mat there and that is 4 and 3 eighths by 5 and 3 quarters. Also to make our little pleated um, fold, I've just got a piece of DSP, this happens to be the pop of pink, and it's 10 inches by 5, okay? And then for the little kind of bit that sticks the curtain bit down is Melon Mambo, and it's 4 and a quarter by 3 quarters of an inch, alright? And then I've got one stamp set and all I'm using is the thank you. You could just stamp that out in ink, but I actually stamped it with Versamark and heat embossed it with the new um, copper powder because I thought that would um, look quite nice. And then I'm probably going to stamp out a couple, sorry, punch out a couple of butterflies with um, the itty bitty punch. Um, but you don't have to you could put whatever you whatever you want or just leave it blank so you don't really need much to be honest to create this card one stamp set and a little bit of card and paper okay so we've got our whisper white card base and our basic black mat and I'm just gonna attach this to here first and get this done and then I'll show you how we create the um, the curtain fold okay so a bit of glue a bit of Tombow and just attach this so it's got a nice little um, even border Okay, so our 10 by 5 DSP. Now, take your scoring board, or if you don't have a scoring board, you could just use a ruler and um, a pencil and then score them um, with a bone folder. Whatever's easiest for you, really. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop it in on the long side I'm just getting me notes and for DSP on this stylus the Stampin' Up one you've got a larger ball tool at the end and a smaller one I would use the larger one when you're scoring um, paper because it's less chance of tearing, um, tearing the paper right so long side and there's quite a few scores to do but um, it's not that bad. Okay, so the first one is going to be at one inch, one and a half inches, two and a half inches, three inches, four inches, four and a half inches, five and a half inches, six inches, seven inches seven and a half inches 
eight and a half inches and nine okay so you've got quite a lot of folds there now what you want to do is keep it in the board and just take a pencil and with your pencil you want to put just a little mark at four and a half and five and a half do the same on the bottom four and a half five and a half and you can just see there where I've popped these little pencil marks top and bottom and that is because that is going to be the middle of your fold so it's important and then turn it to the short side and put those little marks again at two and three turn it this way and two and three so a couple of little pencil marks at two and three there okay top and bottom because we're gonna have to trim those so take your trimmer or you could just use scissors whatever is easiest for you so if I try to show you with the ruler so how we're gonna cut this is our little pencil marks so we've got the middle of our card there which we've got our pencil marks there at um, four and a half and five and a half and then it's the side you've got your marks that you did at two and three so how are you going to cut it is from score line to score line and then this way so that you're going to leave your middle piece intact so i'll cut them and then it might be a bit clearer what i'm trying to say so your um just trying to see them with this paper so first mark to the first mark that looks so oh, you know yeah that's it there so a little mark to the mark and then trim same with I should have put my glasses on this to this first one then trim and again with this one so to the other little score line like that and now the next one so I hope you can get what I mean you're always going to leave your little middle piece intact what you scored at four and a half five and a half sorry mark with your pencil four and a half five and a half and your two and three that is going to be your middle piece which you can see on the card there creates that middle so you could keep your little scraps and cut out some little punch butterflies or whatever if you want to so pop this away and take your bone folder and just from the middle if you just fold fold it in like this and then back so it's sort of like an accordion fold okay and then the same go over okay 
okay and that is what you should have okay so I think the best thing to do to stick it onto the card is if you open it out and you've got these um, the small little half score lines three of them on each side I think it's best to put a bit of snail or glue or tape because it just will help it keep stuck to the um, stuck to itself a bit better so I'm just going to open it out and not the big not the fat one inch score lines just the thin just pop a bit of snail on them and I'll um, show you what I mean and then when you fold it back it's just going to help it stick rather than um, just flapping about and same on here there we go so that is what you should have and then it's gonna attach to the card like that can get this to stick okay so taking our card base I'm gonna have this just in the middle and for that I'm just gonna pop some snail down down the middle okay and get this nice and central or wherever you're gonna have it on your card which is that straight I think it's all the bright colors and patterns it's making my eyes go a bit dodgy <laughs> Okay, so I'm up in a bit. right now our little four and a quarter by three quarters of an inch is just going to go just across the middle, and for that, I'm just going to pop on a couple of dimensionals. okay and just in the middle just try and get it nice and level like that oh, stuck the dimensional in the wrong place Should have stuck it further i think i can move it i hope i can yeah it's sticking to me finger now that's it so there's the little um piece in the middle and then i've got the little thank you which is just going to go there so i think i'll just put bit of snail on the back of there and just pop that in the middle okay and then the little butterfly punch I think I will punch out some melon mambo um, little butterflies just to give it a bit more colour and some mini glue dots just pinch up the wings and we will have one there so as you can see you really don't need um, 
you know loads of supplies to make this card and that's the point of these series of Sunday videos because as much as we would like everything you know it's just it can be difficult to afford them all so you know you don't need to buy loads and loads so there we go there's our two little cards and before I finish I might just pop on some little rhinestones because I actually put some pearl ones on the pink card sorry on yeah on the um the light card so I think we'll have um a little stone in the middle there just gives it a bit of bling doesn't it really and I'm just going to chop up some of these for the little butterfly butterflies rather I've just cut three of these off and just pop those in the middle and I just really think it just sets them off there gives it a lot more sparkle and a bit more um, interest so I hope you'll have a go at one of these um, you know you can do them in endless colors you know choice is yours so there we go that's today's tutorial so i hope you like it and all the details will be on my blog if you would like to order any of the products i've used if you click in the see more um all the products i've used will be there you just need to click on them it'll take you straight to my online shop or if you would like a catalogue sending out, um, just let me know and I'll get you one posted ASAP. So thanks very much for watching and until next um, Wednesday, I'll see you then. Thanks, bye.